right now we're looking at Mars. This is a kind of the real time of uh, just orbiting the Mars, and just everything's uh, accurate. We have astronomers at Evans and Sutherland that try and keep everything. The images are always uh, updated and to the latest, so keeping everything highly technical. All right, this is the cool part. Looking at Mars, what we can do now is we can turn on science on the sphere. Load. What this is displaying right now is the magnetic fields on Mars. What you're seeing is the red is the positive uh, charge and the blue is the negative. Uh, there's many things you can do with uh, also on Mars. We're going to just keep things a little bit short. We're going to kind of skip over them. Right now I'd like to, uh, let's go take a look at Earth. because really, <laughs> Earth has so many features and things to see. Did this right? We should fly up into Earth here. Ah, oh, there's lovely Earth. All right, so what we can do is we can look at uh, a lot of the satellites or things that are orbiting around the Earth. Um, I'm just gonna pick some ones here. It just takes just a minute for it to load and come up on the screen.
At the end of 1982 into 1983, there is a significant El Nino event extending thousands of miles out into the Pacific Ocean. Note the significant warming of the sea surface along the coast of Baja California. The changes in the surface temperature of the ocean affect the path of storms. The storms move lower down the coast, churn up the sea surface water, and suppress the normally very cold California current. The opposite of El Nino is the La Nina. The La Nina occurs in the same area of the Pacific, but instead of warm surface water, La Nina is characterized by very cold water at the surface, represented by blue and purple colors on the sphere. Although La Nina has a pronounced effect on the weather and climate of South America, its effect on North America is rather minimal when compared to El Nino. Now, get ready for the strongest El Nino on record, the 1997-98 event. Two major weather events in North America are attributed to this El Nino. A five-day ice storm in the northeastern U.S. and southeastern Canada, causing widespread power outages. And also, severe rainfall flooding in Southern California, causing enormous property damage and some deaths. Our increasing knowledge of El Ninos will help with predictions of such severe weather events in the future. All right. That there be lies.